Hello and welcome to Tick Tick Talk. Yes, you heard me right because I'm going to be talking about the demonic parasitic arachnid. I'm not going to be showing any photos of them because I don't like them either. But if you don't want to hear about ticks, just scroll on. Hi. Do not like ticks. Most insects, I have no problem with. Even most arachnids, I have no problem with. Because at least spiders serve a purpose because they are pest control. Parasites, on the other hand, especially parasites that are teeny tiny and seek humans out in order to suck their blood, yeah, I'm not a fan of the tiny vampires. But I made a post earlier today talking about how I am excited that there is snow on the ground because hopefully that means the tick population will not be as big this year. And a few people commented about that. Now, I want to be clear, zero hate to this commenter and zero hate to any of the commenters who mentioned the ticks. I am not making this video to bash them. I am only making this video to be informative. There just seems to be some conflicting information about how snow actually affects ticks, so I looked into it. This is the website for the Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. They do say that colder winters can cut down the number of ticks that survive through winter. But lab experiments show that it takes temperatures between negative 2 to 14 degrees Fahrenheit to kill them. Now, for the record, I never said that the snow was going to kill them, just that it was going to reduce the tick population. I have found a lot of different websites, including pest control websites, that mention that when it gets cold, ticks go into a low energy state. But when I tried to find out what temperature they go into that low energy state, the majority of them were saying that ticks will become dormant between 45 degrees Fahrenheit and 35 degrees Fahrenheit, roughly. But pretty consistently, almost all of these websites mention that when it is cold enough, especially when there is snow on the ground, Round, ticks are much more likely to go into that dormant state, and if they are in that dormant state, they are not reproducing. So while I am not saying that having snow means that the ticks will all die off, I am saying that the longer we have snow on the ground, the less likely we are to have a really bad tick season. So when you reach that point in winter where you are sick of the snow, just remember, more snow means fewer ticks.